Here are some examples of needle stoppers. These are, this is a little foam one. It has a hole in the center that you can put your needle through. So if you have a project that you're working on and you need to stop either partway through the row or just at the end of the row, you can slide this right on. You see how that slipped all the way down to the bottom though? These need to be kind of the right size for the needle that you're using. So if you have a bigger needle, it will stop and not just slide down the project. And then there's some needle points. This is the same way where this is for a smaller needle tip. So if I try and put it on my big one, it doesn't really cover much of the needle and it can pretty easily fall off in my project. But if I have one that's the right size, then it covers all of the slanted part, the, the part of the needle that gets narrower and it stays on pretty well. So I can leave it on my project and keep my yarn from coming off the end. And these do come, those come in different sizes and shapes as well. Here's an example of an even smaller one. And these ones actually can connect together, which is kind of fun. They also make these yarn coils. These are some of my favorite needle stoppers. So the idea with these are you have your project and you take the coil and wrap it around the project. You wrap it around the needles to keep the stitches on the project. So with this here, the yarn will not be able to slide off the end and your project will stay on your needles ready for you to work on it later. And these are nice, again, because they work with different sizes. Now, if you have none of these things, another thing that you can do is wrap your yarn around the needle. So if you push your project away from the edge and wrap your yarn pretty close together, maybe seven to 10 times, then the same thing will happen. All of those would have to come undone before your stitches would be able to fall off the end.